Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we're going to be playing the updated version 5.0, uh, which just came out. Now, this is an early access uh, game that's still in development. They're still making lots of changes to it. They're coming out with updates every other week, if sometimes multiple times a week. So yeah, it's still uh, being upgraded and fixed, and they're taking into account uh, people's opinions and ideas. So now's the time, really, to get involved in it. If you want to play the game and, and contribute to it or something like that, you really want to do it now, because once the game's done, uh, you know, they may listen to you for the second a sequel if they make another one like that, but you won't be able to put any input into it right now. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be pretty cool. Plus, because they've come out with so many updates since the last time we played, and I've basically been waiting, because I wanted to uh, try out the base function of this game, and it hadn't really been working very well. It's had a lot of flaws. But from what I've heard from other players, that is now up and running perfectly fine. So we are going to go ahead and start a new game and, and start from scratch, basically, because I didn't want our previous game to interfere with maybe some of the changes they made, maybe blocks that we had don't exist anymore or something along those lines. So your cab is the heart of your tech, protected at all cost. Drag a standard block to the back of the cab using the left mouse button. So you can see right here, you use the left mouse button to drag it wherever you want. And it does kind of have an innate ability to understand where you want to go. Because you can see right there, it zaps it over there. That's the only part right there that we can attach a block to. Uh, so it goes it goes ahead and like literally forces it there because it knows that's kind of where you want to go. Any place you see those little red dots is a place you can attach something to it. So we're going to go ahead and attach these wheels. And we'll do it on both sides because uh, if you don't have wheels on both sides, it's only going to be able to drag uh, and it's, it's not going to go straight. So we got a, a GSO ZK47 light machine gun. And if you want to see more information on that, you can just come up here to the, the top piece. This is a handy weapon, been a reliable favorite for over 50 years and still going strong. So let's put that on the front because you do got to remember that when you put these weapons down, if there's anything in front of it, if I... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Let's put this back on. No, stop doing that. Let's go uh, into our build mode. I guess I can't do that because it's still in the, the stupid uh, intro. <laughs> Finally, okay, now we're out of the build mode. Now I can put all that stuff back on. Spacebar is what I set my build mode uh, button to do, but you can set it to whatever you want. Let's uh, put these wheels on. I do apologize for that, guys. What I was going to show you, though, is these weapons. If you put it in the front and then you put another weapon behind it, it won't be able to fire because the, the weapon in the front's in front of it. But if you hold down on the weapon and use your scroll wheel, you can quite literally change the direction of your weapon. So you can have one in the front pointing straight and one in the back pointing either to the sides uh, or behind you. And they both can fire. Uh, if you put this here and then we lower our weapon, or, uh, or you can see right here that it can fire to the back and it actually has quite a bit of uh, almost impact. You know, it has that kickback which it didn't have on the last uh, update, so we'll definitely have to see how that uh, plays out for us. We also have a, a grinder, a drill. You can see as I hold it down, it continues to drill. So that's going to be kind of interesting to play with. We didn't have that the very first time. We had basically a dump truck uh, attachment right here on the front that allowed us to shovel stuff in, uh, in a certain direction. And it took a lot of hits too, so it was kind of nice. Because one thing you need to know in this game is this cab right here that I'm selected on, that's your main cab. If this thing is destroyed during any time in the game, you lose your vehicle. It just it, it gets destroyed along with it. So you want to make sure that doesn't, uh, you know, get destroyed too easily. And we are kind of front heavy. You see, when I stop, my guy just jams to the front. So let's see if we come over here. The enemy is near. Defend ourselves. No, don't attack my base. Stop attacking my base. I'm having a hard time moving around. There we go. And what I want to do is destroy his cab without destroying his blocks because I can reuse any blocks that he uh, detaches and falls onto the ground. Whether it's because I did so much damage to him that the, the blocks detached or because I killed him completely. Let me zoom out. I'm too, too close. Uh, he's They're getting a lot, a lot more tricky, man. They weren't usually this hard at this level. There he goes. So the only thing I got off of this guy is another weapon. But I need to make sure I can turn that to the side. I did get a wheel, but I don't have any place to put it. 
so we're going to have to hold off on that. Now, if any of your blocks are damaged, you can come over here and get inside this little green bubble, which will actually heal them up, and your blocks will be flashing red when they're about to be destroyed, and when they come over here, they'll be flashing green, meaning they're getting healed up. I don't have anything flashing, uh, because I don't have uh, you know any damage, basically, to any of my stuff. And it tells you the solar generator will be sufficient to repair a small tech. Let's see. It's telling us something about the tree. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Come on! Let's see you take me on, punk. Oh, my, my other weapon is like a laser. It actually seems a lot more accurate than the little machine gun that I have. Let's... No. Let's, uh, let's grab this bring it over here and what I am going to do actually is enter build mode because it's easier to do things this way put this weapon or put this block up here and put the wheel back on now this will allow me to have another drill on the front of my weapon or front of my my little tank but it is kind of off balance you know it's not the the greatest design oh look there's another guy over here come on punk come on die no. Stop running. Die already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't nothing, punk. Let's see. He didn't drop any blocks, unfortunately, but he did drop a new weapon. Actually, not a new weapon, just a different kind. Now, let's run over here to our, our little makeshift base. Little outpost, basically, is what it is. And see if we can repair anything. And as you can see right there, the items that are glowing green for like the half a second that they were was them getting repaired and they got repaired rather quickly so over here though there's uh, some little force fields I think this is the very first uh, area that you get a base but the person guarding it you got several different enemies guarding it right there are going to be incredibly difficult to kill uh, until you get some uh, some weapons but we're gonna try it Let's just see what happens see if we can take this guy on oh, away from me punk now you can act- Oh! Wow, he destroyed me already. <laughs> okay. So let's see, can we get back over there? Yeah, we can get back over there. Now you can actually target, you know, uh, weak spots on their vehicles. If you can sneak up on them and, and target their wheels, uh, you can quite literally destroy their wheels and they will have no ability to move and then therefore they'd be a lot weaker. Uh, I'm just gonna let them destroy me because I, I don't have anything that can, that can take him out. I don't have any weapons. So let him hit me real quick. Come on. What are you waiting for? There we go. And those blocks will stay there for a certain amount of time. They will disappear rather quickly. Come on. Where's my next spawn? I don't get another spawn? you kidding me. Nothing? Did I freak it out? Uh, I think I freaked the game out because I don't have a dude. And it's still letting me move stuff around as if I did. Yeah, this shouldn't be happening. This is a, I guess, a little bug. Okay, let's let's save and exit, I guess, because there's nothing we can do. We'll have to enter back into the game. Hopefully, that will fix it. As I said, it is still in development. Are you sure you want to start a new game? No. Let's continue game. Here we go. And it should load me in, and hopefully, this will recognize that it had an issue and just give me a new guy. There we go. Oh, holy crap, I get my guy back? That's weird. But it does goes to show that we are not strong enough to take that guy on. So let's look for a few more small guys. Uh, in fact, there's one over there in the distance. Let's get that guy. Whoa, what is this? What is that? There's like red... Oh, no, it's a tree that has fallen down. I thought it was like a rock with like red goo coming out of it or something. Come on, back up. Uh, I, yeah, we can't take that guy on. That guy's like a wall of towers. Uh, there is a smaller dude over here, and by small I mean, you know, a lot larger than we are, but still, we may be able to take him on. Let's try this guy. Wow, look at that guy. Ah, I don't know why I can't turn my wheels. I'm so front heavy. Come on, die, die. I'm taking you down, get try. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hit me, but I can hit you just fine. Come on, die already. Am I hitting him? Yeah, I guess I'm I'm a little... I mean, I'm hitting his wheels, which is perfectly fine by me. I do want to take his wheels out, then he can't move around anymore. 
Yeah. Oh no, he destroyed me. Oh great, start me in like the worst part the pot worst spot possible. Come on. Oh, come on, I got a rock underneath me. No. This is not where I want to be. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, come on. This is what happens when your vehicle isn't uh, quite decked out. Oh, and he takes out my weapon. The very first thing he takes out is my weapon. Let's see, can I put another weapon back on? Sure can. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Destroy that punk. No, I fell over. My little vehicle sucks, man. I need to upgrade this thing already. Give me something. It's so hard from going to be like Uber. You know, having like yellow blocks. I don't think I'm... Oh, I'm hitting him finally. And then going to like nothing. Like my guy won't even stay upright. And I can't fire like this. So I have to... Here we go. Oh, come on. Let me turn it. Boom. Die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That was like one of the worst fights I've ever done, but it worked. We are... Uh, we are going to be a little bit stronger than we were before, if I can get all this stuff on. Let's see. We want to put these drills on. And even if they're flashing red, remember you can repair them. Now, the wheels are some of the most important parts of your vehicle. As you progress through the game, you're going to get stronger and stronger wheels. You get larger wheels that are off the ground a little bit more than the ones before it, which are really, really nice to have uh, for the, uh, the reason that when you go over these hills, if the bottom of your vehicle is too flat, it's too low to the ground, then when you go over, you're basically going to get stuck on the hill, especially as you start progressing further and further out with your vehicle wider rather than higher. So yeah, you do want to keep an eye on the... Yeah, because this guy is really front heavy. Let's see, can we throw this on the back? There we go, a little bit little bit better. Not much. Still going to be tipping over quite a bit. In fact, let's put this block here on the back. There we go. Little bit. In fact, let's put some wheels on it to give it a little bit more weight. Kind of help it out as much as possible. Nope, that's not how we wanted to do it. Let's put that there. See, we got another one here. We might as well throw that on the back. Okay, there we go. We, we got a little bit going on now. It's not the, the greatest vehicle in the world, but then again, you don't need to start with that. You want to be able to uh, to know what it's like to, to build up your vehicle and be kind of like a vulnerable thing. Because if you jump into a fight like you saw earlier, we jumped into one with a, a bot that we knew was going to be far more advanced and far stronger than we were you have that chance of losing everything you work for and co so it kind of wants to drive it home that yeah you are there we go I don't know why it wasn't going backwards stuck or something but it kind of wants to drive home the point that you don't want to jump into something ahead of time unless you're if, unless you're ready for it or ready for the consequences of what could happen come on kill him nice there we go okay so we got our first long block this is basically two blocks put into one, uh, but it does help you out. It's a little stronger, it takes a little bit more hits. Let's see, how do we want to do this? We'll put this back here, change it. There we go, make sure that's going the right direction. And I'll put this up one, and this one over here on the side, so that we can have a second row. And the reason for having a second row is now I can have an extra laser pointed in the same direction which will allow me to, uh, you know, when I run into an enemy, shoot a little bit more at him, uh, you know, without having to turn around and have basically weapons face it in all directions, which we will eventually anyways. There's something interesting over there where the little question mark is. Let's heal up real quick. Okay, that's, that's pretty fast. They must have increased the speed at which you can do that. But I do want to come over here and get this base as soon as possible. So let me see if we can take this guy on. Man, but he's so much bigger than we, we are. We may lose everything here. I guess let's try it. We might be able to be careful. Shoot him from far away. Can we shoot him from far away? No, we're up on a hill. We're shooting at an angle, so let me get a little closer. Am I hitting him? Yes, I am hitting him. So now he's coming for me. Come on, die. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You are done, mister. You don't stand a chance. There we go. Ooh, baby. Okay, let's enter build mode. And what we are going to do is actually... Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to expand the back a little bit. We want to go sideways. And let's... Let's put this over here. Going sideways as well. So now we got a big back. And the reason, again, for doing that is this will allow you to have more weapons facing uh, in the opposite directions. And we got a big wheel. Nice. It's not a big, big wheel, but it's bigger than the ones we, we've we been getting. Definitely want to put that on. And you want to upgrade these as soon as possible. Get rid of your little small wheels. And I'll show you the difference. In, in fact, you can probably pretty much see the difference in size right there. You know. So the wheel is a little bit higher up off the ground which will give you a little bit more traction and allow you to go over hills that are a little bit uh, steeper. No, don't throw that around. Here we go. And one good thing to keep in mind, guys, is you may have an overabundance of wheels to start with, and that's a good thing. You want to throw on an extra couple wheels here and there on your, your bot because like with anything that you get, there's a chance the enemy will destroy it. And if you have just four wheels on your character, and the enemy destroys one of them, you have to wait until you destroy another enemy with those wheels before you find another wheel like that. So you're going to be running around with three wheels. So yeah, just have a few extras of any of your vital components, you know. A few extra weapons, even if they can't fire because they're hiding behind something else. A few extra uh, radar towers, a few extra blocks here and there that in case they destroy a vital one, you have an extra one to pull off. and and just throw in there really quickly because you can make uh, fixes to your bot while you're in combat you just have to stop attacking so let's go over here and kill this like last guardian Die. there we go and we want to make sure we don't destroy this this is going to be a vital component uh, to our our survival so let's uh, put this last piece up let's see what is this over here uh, another wheel no, that's a radar. Nice. Now we can see when the enemies are coming. Let's see how big of a wheel is this. Uh, it's a small wheel. We don't want that. Let's see. Can we get in here? And it's healing up our unit so we don't have to run back there anymore. And now we should be able to build some stuff. Let me click on our base here. Small battery cell, small power. That's another battery cell. What about this? Uh slot so it will refine uh, ingredients into their base or their base components into other stuff small generator let's see what is this uh, delivery cannon so that's cells conveyor that's another conveyor piece I think too what is this uh, wireless charger allows for charging of batteries and transfers of energy so let's Let's do some harvesting, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kill, or not kill, but destroy some of these trees. Make sure I'm not facing towards my base and doing damage that way. And you'll see this little thing right here on the side will actually pick them up. And then when I get close to my base, it will go ahead and transfer that over into my base, which will then process it if I can <laughs> get even closer to it. There we go. And you'll see it goes through and it will process it. And let's see if it makes anything out of it. So it's making fuel, which I think uh, allows your your generator to go on longer. Uh, and it's selling that. It's like it's just full up. I don't know why I can't make anything. Maybe it's because I haven't found anything to make yet. You actually have to find, uh, you know, blocks uh, in certain areas where those little yellow question marks are. And pick those things up, and then from then on you know you'll be able to make those items yourself or at least that was the concept behind it so what we're gonna do is actually we're probably gonna go ahead and end the episode here I don't want to do too long the very first episode but on the next one we are going to be going off and checking our first little uh, question mark as well as getting some new ingredients for this guy checking out some of the blocks around here some of the purple ones and things of that sort so hopefully you guys will join me for that if you do enjoy these videos guys please hit the like button subscribe definitely helps grow my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any tips and tricks, things you want to see me do in the future, 
uh, names for the different bots that I come up with, the different designs that I do, uh, you're more than welcome to put that down below, and I'll make sure to give you guys credit for that. Uh, and again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode.